Watch Your Grammar, Episode 1, Sentence Structure. What does structure mean? Structure is the underlying source of strength in buildings or bridges. Structure appears in repetition to create unity through patterns. Structure can even be a guide for creation, like this model of a molecule. So why should writers pay attention to the structure of their sentences? Just like other types of structure, sentence structure provides an underlying source of strength for communicating ideas. Each type of sentence follows a structural pattern, and knowing the patterns helps guide the writer. It turns out that mastering different types of sentences helps the writer express a wider range of elaborate and interesting ideas. It's the difference between this and this. There are four ways to describe sentences by their structure. This episode of Watch Your Grammar will give a basic overview of each one. The structure of a simple sentence includes one subject and one verb, but just because the structure is simple doesn't mean the sentence has to be plain. Simple sentences can include many details that that add to the meaning and interest for a reader. For example, the sentence, the wombat's name is Gus, and the sentence, during the summer, Gus the wombat pretended to be a wild Pokemon, are both simple sentences. Pro tip. Another name for a simple sentence is an independent clause. Compound sentences join two independent clauses, like peanut butter goes with jelly to make one sandwich. Each independent clause has its own subject and verb, and each independent clause could be punctuated as its own simple sentence. Here's an example of a compound sentence. Wes asked Carolyn to play a duet, so she brought her guitar to the beach. Pro tip, beware the comma splice, which is a type of run-on sentence. Commas work perfectly well with small bites of information, like individual words or phrases, but they're not strong enough to link two independent clauses. Instead of a single comma, use a semicolon or a comma with a coordinating conjunction when writing compound sentences. There are seven coordinating conjunctions. For, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. A quick way to remember all seven is with the acronym FANBOYS. The next type of sentence is called a complex sentence. To write a complex sentence, combine an independent clause with a subordinate clause. Wait, what? A subordinate clause, also called a dependent clause, begins with a signal word called a subordinating conjunction, followed by a subject and a verb. But unlike an independent clause, a subordinate clause can't express a complete idea on its own. Here's one way to think about the difference. If a rose is like an independent clause, a complete flower, then a single rose petal would be like a subordinate clause. A pile of rose petals is not the same as a complete rose. Pro tip. There are many subordinating conjunctions, including words like if, although, because, or since, and phrases like even though, or as soon as. Memorizing all the subordinating conjunctions is like trying to name all the Pokemon. Use a reference list until you get more comfortable identifying subordinating conjunctions. Here's a sample complex sentence. Since we are going to the library after school, I will return my overdue books. The subordinate clause begins with the signal word, since. The fourth type of sentence structure combines a compound sentence with a subordinate clause. It's called a compound complex sentence. 
While writing a compound complex sentence seems tricky, every student in this class can master its structure, and with practice, our writing will grow even more powerful. As you revise your work, look for opportunities to practice writing simple, compound, complex, and compound complex sentences. Until next time, watch your grammar.